One last thing I want to show you is not related to um, a calculation perspective, but a visual perspective. Because you know I'm a visual person. I like to kind of see what's going on. And there's one more kind of question that we can sort of ask from this. Uh, I just want to talk about what these look like graphically. So here's what they look like over here. And we've got the B there. What's up? Huh? All right. So here's what we've got the B here. And um, which I forget to leave off. Remember, what does this guy mean? Number of um, trials and the. What's the second number? P, which is the probability of success. Notice how these are different depending on what they look like visually. I'll just let you have a look at it. What can you um, kind of determine based off the probability of success and the skewness there? What do you guys kind of notice? Yep. So the probability of success is going to affect the skewness. So you want to have a think about why, right? Like let's just go to where it's 0 0.5. When it's 0 0.5, we say it's symmetrical. Right? And why is that? Well, think about heads and tails. Like how many, if you're doing this 10 times, right, how would you, um, how many would you expect, right? You'd expect five heads, right? Because that's half of them. Yeah? So that makes sense. And so if you change the situation, if you change the probability of success, right, you'd expect less kind of um, success, right? Because it's running, like there's you know, less chance that you actually get that particular thing. So you get the lower, these are the how many successes you expect, right? Does that kind of make sense? Is it just me or is it columns like different width? Uh, maybe it's just the formatting. Yeah, the, this one is a little bit thinner. Maybe it's just how I screenshot it or something. Um, so. Um, how do we call this one? Well, the skewness is where the tail is, so that one's, yeah, positively skewed. And this one over here, again, if there's a high chance of success. <laughs> Are you guys judging my handwriting? <laughs> there, there you go. All right, cool. Uh, and this one's negatively skewed, right? Is that better? Cool. So positively skewed um, if the probability is less than half, negatively skewed if the probability is greater than half, and then symmetrical if it's exactly half. Um, you guys can summarize that information yourselves, right? But I'll just show you a few questions related to that. So here you might want to match the prob. They might ask you to match them. So the symmetrical one is really easy to identify, right? So that would just be p is equal to half. Um, Angus, what do you reckon about one on six? Which one would that match up with? Uh, the second one. Second one? Yep. And then. Like the <laughs> 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 yeah, well, it's a trick question to see if you uh, can recognize what's going on. So the higher chance of success, we expect more successes. Lower chance of success, um, less successes, right? Um, last one. Oh, this one. Choose the best representation of that. Preference, preference. C. Pretty C. No, I really want to. C? We've got some options for C. Anything else? I want to see. I, um, B. B? B. Oh, wait, yeah, sorry. I, I'm, I'm a bit disabled. No. I, I'm, 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 I'm with Harry. 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 i am with harry i am with harry i am with harry i am with harry i am so, first things first, why is it not 0 0.5? Because it's right, so the idea is, although this kind of looks symmetrical in some respects, think about how many trials are actually being run. You can actually see, if you look a bit closely, um, the trials are actually being run up to 20. Um, it definitely goes past 12, right? Because it's definitely something there, just that the probabilities for 20 are very, very small. Yeah? So that immediately brings my attention to, okay, it must be skewed. How is it going to be skewed? Um, well, there's less chances of success. So P needs to be less than 0 0.5. So I can really immediately rule out um, this one and this one, right? And then, well, I know the number of success. So, I mean, I know the number of trials, sorry. So I know it has to be B. So what on, Eva? Good stuff. <laughs> and that's like another type of question they can ask, like a visual sort of representation of that, okay?